성큼 난 아직도 잘 모르겠는 게 내가 위선이 아닐까 아마 결국엔 아무런 마음도 내겐 없지 않을까 톡톡 내 머리를 두드린 빈님이 너무도 반가워 복잡한 내 마음과 몸을 한없이 씻어줄 것 같아 톡톡 말이 들리지 않는 그 깊은 바다 바닥에선 우리의 생각 크기보다 훨씬 더큰 의미가 있지 Let's talk 말이 멈추는 날 우리가 해야 할 일들을 하나 둘 찾아가는 길을 살금살금 Let's talk 포기하지 말고 우리가 멈출 수 있는 걸 하나 둘 찾아가는 길을 성큼 성큼 Right, let's go to some more questions from you guys, the listeners. All my producers just come in and give me a lot more. Um, yes, thank you very much. We've got a lot more now. Um, shall I do the first one, Panita? Go ahead. Okay. Jessica from Singapore says, I have problem remembering numbers. I tend to forget anything that is related to numbers. Any <laughs> strategy to help me remember better. Thank you. Looking forward to this new segment. Numbers. Right. Like, you don't, like, counting? Or... Counting or phone numbers. Oh, phone numbers. Okay. I get, I, I don't know. I don't, anything related to numbers, basically. So, like, you just suck at math. That, that could be a possible way to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, how do we, a strategy, right. Um, um, you know, if I have a trouble memorizing or studying something, I always mm. make up a song and it ah, works perfectly. So you put music to it. Right. Right. Or like if I'm doing vocabulary, then I say, okay, what, what would make me think of this word? And then I try to relate it to the, right. the meaning. That's, you know a, what that's I mean? a good idea. So for example, okay, say you've got a very important phone number right. to to remember. Uh -huh. um, I'm, I, I can't read out my phone number, I'm afraid, because <laughs> I might get lots of calls. Uh, but I'll make up a number. It'll be like um, any sort of song. Or with a melody that already exists or yeah. with a new song. Because ah. I can't, you know, make music or else I would have been... Like a famous a super, composer. Yeah, yeah, a superstar by now. Okay, so give us an example. <laughs> um, okay, what if we, you want to memorize, like... Uh, I'll do my old number, yes. uh, Los Angeles number, 818-825-8226. Then I do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, maybe. Okay. It has to like go with it, so you kind of have to brainstorm. Like, 818-825-8226, that's my number. That's really good. Really? That that would work for me. Okay. I think. I maybe think... that could be a solution, maybe. Yes. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Yeah. and then stick whatever... The number, number is right. on that. Jessica, Singapore. Remember that, okay? I hope that helps. I'm sure it will. If it doesn't, if it doesn't help, <laughs> send this in again next week. Yeah, and we'll and try again. I will come up with a different solution. <laughs> All righty. Yes, Jessica, thank you for that. Punita, do you have more for us? I do. I have one from Yasmina from Spain. She mm -hmm. says, a warm welcome to Punita. Hello, dear Punita. Mm -hmm. uh, a warm welcome from the Spanish listener. I'm really excited about this new corner can show us. Me too. Uh, I wish you both, Sam and Punita, good luck about this corner. Fighting. Yes, fighting. We can do this. I'm we sure can. we can help lots of people. I hope we can. With their problems. Yes. And we also have <laughs> Tiffany from France who says, Punita, welcome here. Don't be nervous. We don't bite. Oh, I you. agree. Always listening, girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Right. And we have one from Gabriela Everlasting from Peru. Mm -hmm. uh, hola, Punita. ¿Cómo estás? Te deseo <laughs> mucho. Sí, más suerte en este segmento. Talk, talk, talk. Eres muy, lin eres muy linda. Me encanta tu voz. Ah, gracias, Gabriela. Las mando abrazos y besos desde Peru, Gabi. Right, so I was originally going to translate this, <laughs> and um, I realized that I don't understand anything. I 
This uh, is Spanish, firstly. I studied Spanish around three years when I was in high school, and another year went now as my first year in yes. college, and then I forgot all of it because right. I came to Korea. Right. So let me see. Hola, Punita means hello, mm. Punita. Como mm. estas? How are you? Muy bien, gracias. Uh, te deseo muchísima. Mm. Te deseo muchísima suerte en este segmento. Ah, segmento, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sí, yeah, yeah, verdad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and eres muy linda. Me encanta tu voz. Me encanta tu voz. I love your voice. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, that's right. all I know. And les mando abrazos y besos de, de, desde Perú. Well, I know besos is kisses. That's all right. I know. Right. Well, you know, there's lots of exclamation marks and smiley faces. Right. So I'm assuming it's a nice message. It is. It's a nice message. I mean, it has kisses on it. Brilliant. Well, kisses, that, that can't be a negative <gasps> thing. Well, it could be a negative thing. I just thought of a phrase that I cannot say online. Right. Well, we'll talk about that later then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, we've got another um, message. It's a kind of a question, I think. So, Panita, do you want to read this one out? Okay. It is from Leon Teo. Hi, help me. What should I do while I wait for Luna Fly to come to Singapore next week? Ah. Wow. That's, that's a very serious problem. It is. You know, it's this. Very it's, serious. It's kind of the feeling when you already watch the episode of your favorite show and you have to wait another week ah. for it to come out it's like oh my god what yes. do i do that is that is a feeling that all christmas day right i'm not saying that lunar fly at concert <laughs> is like christmas day you are so cocky obviously no the level is different christmas day is obviously the very top and duh because it's jesus's birthday yeah obviously it's different it's different <laughs> lunar fly concert maybe in the middle I, I don't know where to rank it but anyway mm -hmm. uh what should uh sorry who, who is this Le this is leon, leon teo leon teo from singapore from singapore um there's lots of things you can do i mean every day i'm on the radio so you could just listen, listen to super caper yeah, yeah you could listen to me for two hours a day or just listen to their you know album you could listen to our album as well that would be cool right um i can suggest that you know what the best way to waste your time is mm -hmm. sleep sleep is always fun so if you just sleep 10 hours then i mean you know just sleep the whole week i don't know yes yeah, so you could wait can you sleep a whole week i could sleep for like two days yeah maybe two days but then again that's two out of seven so, so you cut that down to five days right okay so basically uh leon sleep for the next two days right then you've got five days left keep busy like go to your friend's house yeah 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 so don't be alone where you're getting down about right, things. right 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 just keep doing things keep busy yeah and if it involves Lunar Fly, then great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes. Um, Panita, we've got a treat now. Oh, you do? I'm going to play Panita's version of I'm in Love. <gasps> Enjoy. Me 
Peninsula, that's so sweet. Oh, really? That's it's embarrassing. Why are you embarrassed? Because it's my voice, and it's kind of like embarrassing. Yeah, I, I feel the same way. <laughs> I hate hearing my voice. It's like, ew, do I sound like that? So you know you're hearing your voice right now in the headphones. I know, but I I'm not like paying attention to it. I'm ah, paying attention to your voice. Right, right. <laughs> okay, well I, I'm getting a little bit embarrassed now. Um, let's go to some more messages. Okay. I think. Um, we have one from Grace from Singapore. Mm -hmm. Hi Sam and Panita. I love how Panita speaks. I love your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've just graduated last year and had uh, started working not too long ago. I have also continued studying for my degree part time, but mm -hmm. I'm having doubts whether this is really the field that I would want to continue in the future. Mm. I actually have interest in music composition, but I'm really uncertain of what I really want. I'm afraid that I would wake up one day and regret the, my choices. Any advice? Thank you and have a great day. Right, well this is actually um, a sort of a thought that a lot of people right. have when they go to college, I mean, college, wouldn't right? you... You and I both had this. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Do I continue going to school or do I, you know, try to do my dreams yes. in singing or? Yeah. So obviously, um, Grace's dream is to go into uh, music composition, so writing music. Right. And um, I actually had a very similar thought when I went to university because I actually, my degree is not in music at all. I did a degree in business finance. Oh. And um, I did that because, you know, I guess. After speaking to my parents, it was a kind of a logical backup for me. Mm -hmm. And then, do you know what? But after I did it, I was actually very happy. Really? I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. And uh -huh. then after that, I could then be free to kind of achieve what I wanted to oh, achieve. Oh, I see, I see. So first, you just did what your parents told you to yes. do. Yeah. And then after that, try yes. to achieve your... Now, that's what I did. And for two years, I kind of... Um, I'm, I'm thinking in Korean right now. That's very strange. <laughs> For two years, I kind of um, suppressed, I guess, those feelings. Oh, um, okay. But I I'm see. not saying that Grace should do that because that's a tough thing to do. Right. But I mean, isn't that weird that even for me i i loved singing and doing music but mm. when i went to school i always wanted to be an architecture really yes an architect right right so it's so different from what your heart really wants and what you know your brain thinks yeah. your mind thinks that you should do that's a very important point and when you do go to college university uh -huh. you kind of have to balance what your heart wants what your brain wants right and um the the advice that my mom told me when I came here, she said, you can always study at any age, mm. but achieving your dreams, especially in this entertainment media kind mm -hmm. of environment, you have to start young. Yes, that's so, true. So, I mean, age definitely plays a bigger part in entertainment. Mm. So, music composition. Do you know what? I think see. my advice for Grace is, I because I write music as well, uh -huh. it's something that you can do on the side. True. That is something, I mean, you're not getting into an industry where you need to be doing it all day, every single day. Right, and you can submit it to people. Exactly. So I would suggest, so try to balance the two, yeah. Grace. Uh, but basically, don't regret anything. Don't have regrets. Yes, definitely. That's probably the best thing to say. Because then when your midlife crisis comes, then you just... Oh, I, I don't know about that yet. but <laughs> <laughs> I've heard lots of things yes, about it. <laughs> yes, um, but yes, Grace, I hope that helps you. Um, yes, thank you for that message. Um, we've got a few short ones here that I'm going to read. 